I got five key issues that are still fairly affordable that you can get before they rise in value. If you want to know what they are, just stick around and you'll find out. Go, go subscribe to We Love Comics. We love, and we do, we love comics. This video is sponsored by PGX Grading Services. Get one free pressing of your choice when you grade 10 with the code We Love Comics Free Press. Link in description. What's up, everybody? This is Chris, and this is my channel, We Love Comics, and I'm doing a video I know a lot of you love, and that's five books that I think are comics that you should be acquiring before it is too late and the prices start rising so you can avoid having to spend extra money when you don't have to. Now, of course, this is always about speculation, which means anything can change, so there are no guarantees, so please keep that in mind if you are investing always try and ask for deals wait for deals don't just buy the first one you see because now you emotionally need to have the book that you're seeing in here so invest smart and you'll win more times than you'll lose so um, before i show the books don't forget to wait until the end to see who's today's surprise subscriber shout out if you want one just be a subscriber don't forget to check out my comics that i have for sale the link is in the description i also have comic mystery boxes uh, hopefully you can check those out. And if you do a video about the uh, unboxing of one of those, let me know in advance. I will throw in an extra comic for free as a thank you. So without further ado, let me show the first book. Some of these I might have shown before, but it's been a little while. So I want to refresh people's memories. And again, there are no guarantees on these, so keep that in mind. But better to pay for them while they're cheap than to overpay later on. So the first one is Ghost Rider issue number two. Uh, this came out approximately in the early 1970s. This is the first full appearance of Damien Hellstorm. Now, there have been rumors that, like I've been saying for a while now, either phase five or even phase six, they're gonna get more into the underground, underworld kind of stuff. They've already started that in, like, in Thor. But um, characters like Ghost Rider and them, they definitely will still be talked about and relevant. And other characters like this may pop up. So the best time to get these kind of books is before that happens, or if it happens, keep that in mind. And you're not spending ten times the amount, because you know what'll happen. If a character like Damien Hellstorm ends up being announced in a movie or a TV show, you know what's going to happen that day. Prices will double. So I bought these. I have a couple of copies of this book. I bought them a couple years ago. I only paid $8 for this book. You're probably going to spend around the $15 to $20 range, even in mid-grade. Obviously, 9.8s are going to be higher, but uh, a great book to take a chance on where you're not spending a lot of money. You'll notice all of these books I'm about to show, you're not spending thousands of dollars on any of these books. All right, another book I would highly recommend. This is one of the rarer ones of the couple of different books you can get. Uh, this is Amazing Spider-Man issue number four, obviously not the first series. Uh, this is the black and white variant edition. Uh, this is a rarer book than the regular issue or even the, um, this is the negative black and white. There is one that's all black and she's white, but this is the negative black and white. That one's the more rare. Uh, this is the issue where Cindy Moon becomes Silk. So Sony has already talked about Silk having her own movie. Now, it hasn't been in production yet, and anything can change, so you never know. But with the success of their Spider-Verse movie, um, I would be shocked if they didn't add her, especially with all these female characters. So the regular uh, cover is a great one to get. The 1 in 10 variant is a great one. But this is one that might slip under the radar. I mean, it's got a J. Scott Campbell cover. A lot of people get his books just for the fact that he's done the covers. And uh, again, this is an important issue. So I, again, bought this years ago. I paid $55 for this book. It's probably what you're going to spend for this book, between $50 and $100. Um, obviously, you don't want anything lower than a 9.4 if you're getting it graded, because especially with newer books... Anything lower than that, people really aren't going to pay for. So unless you find a steal, I would stay away from anything lower than a 9.4. Obviously, it's going to be hard to tell what the grade is when you get something raw. But they try and make sure you read the descriptions and ask questions. Um, if it's like, for example, if you're on eBay and you only see one picture or two pictures, don't be afraid to ask questions because you never know. Because you don't want to be the one, you know, screwed over. 
I had another one with the Sony Spider-Verse. I've talked about this um, years ago. I want to refresh people's memory on this one. This is absolutely a great book to have. I probably have eight to ten copies preparing for the day she comes out. And that is Marvel Spotlight, issue number 32. This is the first appearance of Spider-Woman. Um, again, with all the female characters and with the success of Sto Sony's um, Into the Spider-Verse, um, they've already talked about Jessica G Drew being in a movie. Now, whether that is as, as Spider-Woman, we don't know. So that could be just the Jessica Drew Easter egg. So again, be careful. Do not overspend on this book. But this is a book I was telling people years ago. If you got it, you're probably spending between $30 and under. I paid $33 for this book. This book now is probably a 50 to 75, and that's in mid to very fine grade. But again, still so much potential. I mean, look at She-Hulk number one. A 9.8 went from like $100 to now four to 500 So this has plenty of room to grow, provided she ends up a significant future part of the Sony universe. And who knows, maybe she ends up in a Marvel film too, because there are the agreements, and characters can go back and forth, so... You never know. Um, this is a book, if you're a comic collector, you probably have this book. But I don't want to assume, especially when it comes to newer collectors, because anything Wolverine soon is going to be extremely hot. Now, if you cannot afford 181 and, and 180 is starting to get out of reach, and you don't want 182 because it's just a, a cameo appearance, this is definitely a book I highly recommend. You've probably seen this on eBay thousands of times. This is the first time Wolverine is in. It's a limited series. There is a number one issue back in the 80s where it starts his own regular series. Um, that one is kind of a um, an extra bonus. I don't have one of the comics with me, but uh, that's a good book to have. Uh, but this one is a must-have in my opinion. It was a four-issue set. If you can get all four, that's even better. But everybody knows, unless there's a key significant situation in a book, usually the number one is going to be the most desirable. Uh, this one I got double signed. It was signed by Frank Miller and Chris Claremont. So there's Chris Claremont's in gold and Frank Miller's. Some of the two sloppiest signatures that um, I can recall because, you know, that just looks like something you'd see in a musical note. But I only paid $70 for this book, Dual Sign. This is one of those books I will be getting graded soon. But when Wolverine, and when I mean when, not if, because, you know, Disney owns Fox now, the Fox properties. And I really think that Wolverine is going to make an appearance in Phase 4. Um, whether it's a cameo or something like that, who knows. But, um, I mean, it's, it's a top seller. How do you wait too long on this character? Disney's all about making money. So this is a, a third option. If you cannot afford Hulk 181 or 180, I would highly recommend this book. Um, it's fairly easy to acquire, but don't take that for granted because, again, once Wolverine is in a movie, you know these books are going to go up higher and higher. So for the number one issue, you're going to spend anywhere from 45 to probably $100, depending on the condition. Again, because there's so many of these out there, I would definitely stick with a higher grade. Um, I would not get less than a 7.5 of this book. Again, you know, unless you find it at a yard sale for a dollar or something like that, it really doesn't matter what grade, you know, because like I say, low grade is better than no grade, but absolutely a book you must have if you cannot afford those other books, or even if you can get a couple of these while they're still reasonable, because that will change in an instant. All right, last but not least, I've talked about this one for years. Again, this is all hypothetical situations, but this, especially with this character, is a no-brainer to me. And the fifth one of this video, that is Silver Surfer number three, first appearance of Mephisto. Um, Silver Surfer is going to be, again, in the Marvel Cinematic Universe with the Fantastic Four, whether that's separate um, I think you'll see Silver Surfer probably before you see the Fantastic Four. Again, it's another iconic character. So that alone is going to raise the price of all of Silver Surfer's books. But in my opinion, I think it's just a matter of time before they use characters like Mephisto. And when they do, um, he may not be one of those one-and-done villains. So that might be a big significance because you know a lot of times when there's a one-and-done character... The book will go up and up and up for a while, stabilize, and then come crashing down. 
in my opinion, I do not believe if they use Mephisto that he will be a one-and-done character, especially if they're doing more underworld, underground kind of stuff. So it's definitely worth taking the chance on. This book, if you bought it years ago, you'd spend a lot less than you would now, but I think this still has room to grow. Again, you are taking a risk and taking a chance, so keep that in mind. Don't, you know, don't sell your mortgage payments or spend your mortgage payments for a book if, you, if you're not sure. But I only paid $43.99 for this book, which is a steal, even in a low grade. This is probably uh, 4.0. But uh, you're going to spend now between 75 and 150 Again, 9.8s are going to be much more expensive, but you don't need to get a 9.8 unless you can afford it. Um, anything from a 5.0 and up is definitely going to be desirable and still fairly reasonable to get now. And because nobody's talking about this character right now, you're not seeing a high demand, which means prices will probably be lower than they should be, and that's the time to snatch them up. So if you see someone selling it online, whether it's eBay, Amazon, wherever, don't be afraid. Even if they don't have the best offer, message them. Let's say they have it listed for a hundred, and that's it. We'll buy it now of five ninety-five. Say, listen, um, I'm interested in this book. Would a seventy-five dollar offer, if I paid right now, allow me to take this book home? They may say no, and they may say yes. Believe me, for every ten that say no. You get one that'll say yes, and that's the only one you're going to care about. So don't be afraid to ask for deals, especially when the book is not desirable. Somebody could be selling that book for months and just wants to make some money. So that's the time to pounce because, again, if they announce this character, and I'm saying if because nothing's guaranteed, you know what's going to happen the very next day. Everybody's going to want it. It's going to raise the price, and you definitely will lose your ability to try and get deals. So those are the books. We got Silver Surfer number three first, Mephisto, Wolverine number one in his first limited series. Definitely a book to get, even unsigned. Marvel Spotlight 32, first appearance of Spider-Woman. This is the variant of Amazing Spider-Man number four. This is the black and white negative sketch variant. First, uh, Cindy Moon as Silk. And last but not least, Ghost Rider number two, first full appearance of Damien Hellstorm. So if you appreciate these kind of uh, videos, thumbs up always help. Please help share this video. I need all the help I can get these days. Uh, hit subscribe if you haven't. I would love to have you a part of my channel. Don't forget to leave a comment, especially if you're one of my power viewers. If you're a power viewer, that means you watch this video from beginning to end. If you're an ultra power viewer, you're a person that watches every video that you click on from beginning to end. So make your status known, and um, hopefully you appreciate videos like this. So uh, don't forget to also sign up for the cashback program. That means if you sign up, it's free to do. Um, if you spend $25 or more within, within the first 90 days, you will get a $10 additional cashback. It's, it's used for more than just comics, so check it out. It's free to sign up, and I get a one-time bonus if you sign up and spend the, $90, oh, sorry, the $25 or more within the first 90 days. So that helps my channel be able to continue to do videos like this. Because we all know what's going on with YouTube. They're not really that great when it comes to YouTube revenue. So a lot of us need those kind of things to help us out. So it's a way to help yourself and help your favorite channel as well. So thank you so much. Links are in the description for everything. And don't forget, it is not you. It is not I. It's We Love Comics. Thanks for watching. I will see you next video. Thank you for watching my video. If you would like to sign up for the cashback program and get $10 back if you spend $25 or more within the first 90 days, just click on this link right here. If you're interested in any of my Marvel mystery boxes, you can click this link and just go all the way to the bottom, and you can order right there. If you'd like to join my Patreon account, it's right here. Facebook is right here. And mycomicshop.com if you'd like to order some comics from their store. Now, on to the surprise subscriber shout-out.